Hey, so I'm Carly and I'm from Australia. I have ichthyosis and you might know me as a blogger, as a writer and as a speaker. Um, I, um, I'm doing this for Ichthyosis Awareness Month, which runs through May. And you might remember that I did it last year and I shared 34 stories of really fantastic people that were affected by ichthyosis. So they may have had the skin condition or they may have been parents of children with the skin condition or grandparents or maybe even the um, Foundation for Ichthyosis and Related Skin Type stuff. Um, I, I wanted to share some positivity and the way that people um, dealt with the condition in such diverse ways. So this year, I'm doing the same thing, and of course I'm doing a video. And the thing I want to talk to you today is about your uniqueness. So some of you might know that I'm a really big fan of Darren Hayes. He's a singer from Savage Garden. And he said recently on his podcast that what makes you unique often makes you a target when you're a child, but what makes you unique can set you apart. And I absolutely believe this. So when I was a child, all I wanted was to fit in. I didn't want to be red. I didn't want to have scaly skin or go to hospital or spend lots of time away from school or be excluded. I wanted friends. I wanted white skin or brown skin or any skin other than red. I wanted to be loved. I wanted to be included. And I didn't want to be different. I was saying to a friend earlier that there were times at school where I would be so sore from wearing a school uniform because my legs were exposed to the to the elements, to the sun, to the wind, and to the pollen. Yet, I didn't want to ask if I could wear a different pair of item of clothing. I didn't want to ask if I could wear leggings under my dress because I didn't want to be any more different than I was. And so that meant that I was getting really sore and ending up in hospital and, and, and in, in a lot of pain. So I realized though, I guess maybe when I was in my mid twenties that I can use my difference. I can use this uniqueness to set me apart from others. And so I decided, I decided to tell my story and to, to tell people about, you know, some of the hard things, but some of the great things as well. And I decided to use, to use my uniqueness to my advantage. So now I write and I blog. I tell my story. I speak in front of different people and different audiences. And I tell people that, you know, it's hard, but it's going to be okay. And I celebrate my difference. You know, I'm... I'm really happy with my appearance. I might look red, it might be really confronting to people, but I can still smile and I can still, you know, be, be really proud of my body and my face and, and not, you know, not cover up because I'm ashamed, but cover up because it makes me more comfortable. I now I, I don't really worry about what I wear so much. Um, when I was younger, I, I would never wear black because I was really scared about how much skin I'd be showing on my shoulders. And now, you know, I've got an all black outfit on. I mean, I've got, you know, black dress and a black, um, a black top and some black leggings as well. And, you know, who cares? It, it doesn't matter anymore to me. So I think when I, when I talk to children with ichthyosis and, and other visible differences and they tell me that it's, it's really hard being different, and I know, I know it's really hard being different, but then, you know, we talk about how rare this condition is, you know, there's only 20 people per million that have it and we're really special to have this condition and, and it brings us together and it also means that sometimes our, our difference, our visible difference, is a point of conversation. So yeah, it can be really tiring for people to ask us questions, but it can also be a bit of a talking point, you know. Um, point of difference people want to know what what's wrong with us or um, why we look the way we do or even it could mean that we're a bit more memorable than others I recently had an experience where I was in America and I went to a great big concert Kings of Leon at New Orleans Arena and I'd seen them in Melbourne and their security remembered me from Melbourne and I was upgraded to the VIP area because they remembered me now you know if I didn't look different would they remember me that was pretty exciting so I really, really believe in Darren's words. What makes you unique sets you apart. So believe that. Believe in yourself. And be proud of who you are. Thank you.